physics question one paper three it was about optical lenses i want to give you the marking scheme so part c the table these were the values So this table you can see object position it has been inverted in this answer marking answers object so it is okay it is the same u centimeters 35 for this 24 mark Determine K. Okay. So your values must not be this one inside here. There is these allowances, the ranges. So they should be between these values. The value of k number d 1d is k is equal to 15.00 plus 15.0 divided by 2 which is 15.00 centimeters e roman 1 is set up So the answers we have for the table. So K is the focal length. So this table is the same as this one the difference is that this one has been inverted this way so d is d 38 30 it has been put downwards you can see that and s in centimeters which we are going to fill has been put s is this one downwards then uh, one over s that is the reciprocal of S is 1 over S. This is 1 over S. Then 1 over D it is this one, 1 over D. So this is what the table was supposed to look like. or 6s values correct to plus or minus the one so if your value is 37 you get or values of 1 over s calculated 1 over this or values of 1 over t calculated that then accuracy accept values between d 15 s like this so they have given the range 10.5 to that one it is a range so you need to not watch the graph part so you want to draw a graph of one over s again is to one over d So this graph must show a negative gradient. The graph must have a negative gradient for you to score. 
x axis y axis expected straight line straight line sloping downwards from the left so it's going across this way a negative gradient so those are the marking axis labeled scale cover or six points protected accurately smoothly best fit neat professional appearance so that is what so we don't have a specific graph here because each student would have drawn has or his so we will make we will mark considering this factor uh, these points here use the graph to determine why why intercept equal to that 0 0.14 you get the reciprocal of that you get 8.6 centimeters correct reading from the graph except y is equal to 8.3 to 9.1 that is the range determine that is h roman 2 determine r r is equal to s theta over 2 Find where 1 over S equal to 1 over D coordinate. That is 0 0.058. The reciprocal of that is 17.2. So the range is 8.9 to that. That is the correct answer for number 2. Roman 3, find P, which is R plus Y over 2. P equal to R plus R, Y plus R over 2, and that is the answer, 8.6 centimeters. Roman 4. W, given that the K minus P over PK equal to 1 over W. Mm, you can see that. The answer, final answer is 20.4 centimeters. Marking points, correct rearrangement and substitution, correct final answer, accept W is equal to 19.5 to 21.0. W is the focal length of length P. Question 1, total max 20. Question 2. Procedure for the procedure here. At length is D is 0 0.27 mm. So accept 0 0.26 to 0 0.28. Part C, B, C. So look at the table. Now this table, length yz, length yz, it has been put downwards in this table. PD, V, V, resistance, resistance, like that. So you, you follow it downwards, not across. So for all voltage values, plus or minus 0 0.1, resistant values calculated. Yes. So that is the table. T 
this is the range for marking because every student could have gotten his or her own answer and he or she must be marked for that's why they give the range determine k the average resistance per centimeters for the wire k okay. K is equal to 0 0.033 plus 0 0.038 plus that, and the answer is 0 0.037. That. Accept this the range 0 0.3 to 0 0.42. Table 4, 0.2 ameter, 0.2 ameter, L1, L2, L1 over L2. And L1, L2, L1 over L2. So these are the values, correct values. can as well score if the, you are between these ranges. Determine N, the average L1 of L2. N is equal to this plus that, divided by 2. Determine R theta. K plus length, R this is equal to that. Determine the resistance R of the coil given that n is equal to rc over r o determine z resistance the resistivity 